Welcome to the Scoring Made Easy social squash app. The intention of this is to create fair play between all your members and new members, possibly coming for the evening game or evening's events. So when you open the squash app, we have two options. There's continue the party, or you can actually clear the playlist and start a new one. Now, the reason for the continue the party is in the event someone mistakenly closed the app when it was open, you could simply go back in and all the names will continue as they were prior to the app being closed. So in this case, we're gonna go uh, and start a clear playlist. We're gonna start a new party instead, and we'll confirm the reset of that. So we're starting with a blank canvas. Now. One of the options is actually to set your maximum number of courts. If you only have three courts at your facility, or let's say you have four courts, but the fourth court you want to use for like just the doubles alone, then um, so that's where that flexibility comes in. So what we can do is there's a menu on the right hand side. Let's say you only have three courts for your facility. The queue time 20 minutes or critical time is 30 minutes. This is just a visual orange or red view so that if people are waiting and queuing in line, then at least you'll visually get some some warning that uh, maybe you need to decrease the, the rotation time and things like that. But you'll understand more shortly once I get further. So anyway, we've changed that to three courts and I will now submit that. <coughs> As players arrive, they will come in, hit the add player button, they'll put their name in and they'll be assigned to a court. So you can see Sean's at the top left here now. Second player, now, Sean and Tim are playing on court one, and the timer has started. So current timer duration is sitting at 10 minutes. You can see you can change this to however long you like. Um, you can pause the timer if you wish, and down the bottom there's two other options. Now, rotate players means that we will rotate the players basically by forcing a 10 second countdown, and then that'll call out that the players need to rotate. And by rotation, what I mean by that is, if there was multiple courts open, the players on the top or in the green area here will move to the right. And the players on the bottom or in the blue area will move to the left. So Sean would then go to court two. Tim would effectively drop off. Tim would then need to come and put his name back on if Tim would like to continue playing. Okay, so back to the time duration. That was the rotate player, so it'll force a rotation. The next thing is replay rotation sound only. So in the event people didn't rotate and they didn't hear the sound or whatever the case may be, you could push this button to play the audible, say players, please rotate, and that'll be played over the speakers. But it will not do a rotation within the app. So it's purely going to just force a rotation of the people on court, but not actually do it through the app. So that's just the difference between those two there. Right, I'll leave it on 10 minutes for now because I've got a few other things I'd like to show you. As players start arriving, we'll go Jill, Jackie. Okay, so they now get assigned to the next court and so forth and so forth. So Ben, Lucy. So we've opened up to the three courts, which is our maximum court number. So now if we add further players, Peter, you can see Peter goes into the queue and Peter is next on court one. So that means when this eight minutes or the time remaining is complete, Peter will then head to court one. Sean, Jill, Ben will all move over to the right-hand side, but effectively Ben will be dropping off. And therefore, if Ben would like to continue playing in the social evening, Ben would need to come and hit add player and add his name back in. If Ben tried now, he will basically get, sorry, that player name already exists. So he would need to choose something else. Add Felix. Okay, so now we've got two people waiting in line, and we'll add a few more. So let's uh, let's go with Tom and Betty, Benjamin, Frank. Okay, so you can see the the time starting to build. The queue time has now increased to 27 minutes. So yeah, Frank in this case may not be too happy or actually 37 minutes is, would be the next person. So Frank at this stage is 27 minutes. So, um, you know, may not be too happy sitting around that long. And therefore we could look at reducing this to maybe seven and a half minutes. 
Okay, so we've reduced that to a seven and a half minute rotation. Keep in mind that did actually reset this timer as you may have seen. Now, so that's just something to remember if you are gonna reset this timer, rather do it at the beginning of a rotation, or what you can do is you could give this to a few minutes and then you could force a rotation as well. So we'll, we'll force one saying rotate players. We've gone 10 second countdown still set to the seven and a half minutes so it will stay keeping that setting these players are going to move right these players will move left and these two will be assigned to the court okay so peter went to court one felix went to court three and the other players have moved off and as you can see the other ones dropped off so ben and i can't remember exactly who this player was but they have dropped off and therefore need to come and put their name back on the ad player list if they'd like to go for another rotation which means they would be putting them back in the queue where frank is and or below Frank, should I say, and so so forth. So if we add Ben back in, and I'm not sure who the other person was, we'll go Adam. Okay, so there we go. So we've added some back in the queue. And that's all that the app, app will do. It'll just keep rotating as long as there's people in the queue. Once the people stop uh, adding their names in the list towards getting towards the end of the evening, then obviously things will start um, quietening down. Uh, but that's where it'll be in the tips and tricks, how to manage that. So have a look at the video for that.